Okay, what we're going to do now is take a look at creating an interceptor to send up our token because what we're doing in our service just now is pretty unsophisticated. We've got our token being stored in HTTP options and then we need to send it with every request we make from our service. Not particularly clean and we've got a better, better option. So I'm just going to close the others down and what we'll do is we'll open up our terminal and we'll go up a level and we'll cd into our interceptors folder and what we'll do is we'll say ngg interceptor and we'll give it a name of jwt and we'll skip dash tests and press return and we've gone ahead and created a jwt interceptor so let's open up this particular class and what we want to do because we're storing our token as part of our current user inside our account service what we'll do is we'll bring our account service and inject this into this particular constructor so we'll say private and account service and bring in the account service so what we want to do in here we've got our current user in our account service when we log in we set that particular property and our current user is an observable inside there. So what we need to do in order to use the token from inside there, we're going to need to get the current user outside of that observable. So what we'll do inside our intercept, we'll say const and we'll say current user. And we're going to say this is a type of user object. And we can't use const because const must always be initialized and we don't have a current user yet so what we'll do is we'll use let instead of const and what we'll do is we'll say this dot account service dot current user now we need to subscribe to go and get what's inside the observable out of the observable but do we also need to unsubscribe from this hmm good question well what we'll do just to make sure we can use the pipe method once again and what we can say is that we want to take and we're going to take one from this observable and then we're going to subscribe so by using the take and just by taking one thing from this observable what we're doing here is we're saying that we want to complete after we've received one of these current users and this way we don't need to unsubscribe because once an observable has completed then we are effectively not subscribed to it anymore. So whenever we're not sure if we need to unsubscribe from something, then what we can do is just simply add that pipe and then take one in this case, and then we can go and subscribe. And we kind of guarantee we unsubscribe from that. I'm not saying it's a big deal if we didn't do this, by the way, because our interceptors are going to be initialized when we start our application because they're part of our app module and we add them to the providers and they're always going to be around until we close our application. So whether we subscribe or unsubscribe from this one, it isn't a big deal. But what we will do is use this technique continuously to ensure that anywhere else we use this, we do take care of completing our subscription. And then inside the subscribe, we can say current user, which is what we get back or in fact, let's shorten this to user. And then we can say current user equals user. And then we set our current user from the account service to this current user variable that we've just created up here. Now this should contain the contents of that current user or it's gonna be null. So with that in place, what we can do, we can check to see if we have a current user inside there. So we'll say if current user then what we want to do is we want to clone this request and add our authentication header onto it. So what we'll do is we'll say request equals request dot clone. And inside here, we can say set headers. And inside this object, we can specify our authorization and we can use backticks on this occasion to allow us not to need to allow us to concatenate directly inside this same 
string, so what we'll use is bearer, and then we need to add that extremely important space because it, nothing works authentication-wise if you join your token with the word bearer. There has to be that space inside there. And then we'll use the dollar, and then we can open some curly brackets, and we can specify our current user dot token. And what this is going to do is attach our token for every request when we're logged in and send that up with our request. And because we've cloned this request here, when we return from this, it's that request, if we're logged in, that's going to receive our authorization header and send this up with our request. So do be careful of the spelling inside here. And what we'll do is we'll go back to our member service and we no longer need to use the HTTP options now inside here. But what we also need to do, because this is an interceptor, is we need to go to our app module. And what we need to do is provide this interceptor. So we'll add a comma and just copy this line down. And we're going to say we're using the class of JWT interceptor. Now, if we go and take a look at our browser, we can see that we can refresh the page and we've still got our members. Let's go to our console. And if we take a look at the network tab, and refresh once again, then we should see that in our users request, then we're still attaching our authorization token. But the advantage now is that we never need to add this onto any request ever again. We do it in one place and then our interceptor is going to do this work for us for all time. So what we can also do just to clean up, we can go back to our member service and we can also remove what we're not using inside here. So we don't need the HTTP options. Oh, I've been a bit slack on cleaning up the imports as well so far in this course. But what we can do is just remove any of these that are not in use and we're not using the HTTP headers. I'm going to try and do better. And when we look at these classes, I'm going to try and remember to remove them. It's not really that big a deal because Angular, when we create a production build, of our application, Angular is automatically going to remove any code that we're not using before it creates our compiled version of our production application. So it's not a huge deal, but it's unclean to leave them hanging around. So now we have an interceptor. What we're going to take a look at next is dealing with our individual members and we're going to create a member detailed page.